Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you five of my best tips to creating an effective resource box to help you get more red hot leads for your business. Now if you're wondering what a resource box is, is if you've ever done any article marketing or you do any type of blogging, there's always a little resource box that's always at the end of an article. So if you look here, just this little last snippet here, like in easing articles, is a resource box. And what that resource box is, is to give information about the, art, the author of the article and where people can go to get more information. What is so powerful about a resource box or in other pieces of content, they can be used as call to actions is with any piece of content you create you want to make sure that you are directing people where they want to go next and you always want to make sure that with every piece of content you are capturing those readers onto your email list so a lot of times you want to make sure that that resource box is usually the last thing they're going to see when they're looking at your content so that you can get them to get on your list. So the way that you have to do that is to make sure that you are really putting together a very powerful call to action in that resource box. So let me show you the formula that you want to be using that will help you do that. So you want to write your resource box like a headline like you would do for blog post titles, headlines for your lead capture pages, or for uh, like your YouTube videos, okay? So you want to make sure that you've got a compelling benefit in that call to action. So the way you do that is to add a to discover at the beginning of your call to action in your resource box and then click here now at the end because you want to make sure that click here now is there because you have to tell people what to do. Don't assume that they're going to do it. You have to be very direct in telling them what they have to do. So here are some additional tips that will help you do that. Tip number one, don't shy away from the word you. You want to speak directly to the reader. Tip number two, tell the reader exactly what they are getting. In other words, you want to make the pros, okay, the benefits as big as possible. Tip number three, be as detailed and accurate as possible. So rather than saying how to get rid of acne, you want to say 12 steps to get rid of acne in 30 days. And you want to make sure that it's realistic and it doesn't sound um, like it's too hypey. Tip number four, stay focused. You're likely going to have tons of benefits, but elaborating on every last one is going to take too long and it will have the opposite effect. Remember, people have short attention spans these days and they're less than eight seconds. So you need to know who your audience is and what is their biggest pain point. And that's what you want to be addressing in that resource box. So whatever that big pain point is and how your lead magnet, okay, getting them on your email list will help them solve that problem. Tip number five, always encourage an actionable response. Make sure your audience knows what to do and more importantly, how to do it. This is key for creating loyal followers that spread the word and wait for more content. Now here are some examples of how you can write effective resource box call to actions. To discover how you can hit that 425 yard tee shot one hour after downloading your free report, click here now. To discover how one email per week and three minutes of your time each Monday morning could move you up to $100,000, click here now. 
To discover the money-making secrets of some of the world's most successful internet marketers for 99% less, click here now. Forecast alert. To discover seven stock market predictions that will guarantee small investor success, click here now. And finally, to discover how you could make up to 200% profit every week with my Forex system, click here now. Now, these great resource box tips can also be powerful call to actions you can use on your blog posts, your YouTube videos, tweets, Facebook live videos, etc. Because that is going to make people be drawn in and get on your list. The key with any type of content is to have a call to action to build your list. Did you find this video helpful today? If you did, leave a comment and share and if you haven't done so already make sure you've subscribed to my youtube channel and if you want to know more about how to really use blogging and writing powerful call to actions on your blog i highly suggest that you check out this training that ray higdon uh, has created ray higdon has this amazing training out where he's going to show you how to become a credible expert in your niche virtually overnight, even if nobody knows who you are right now. And he teaches powerful call to actions you can put on your blog. And these are powerful call to actions that help him average 78 sales per day from his blog. And he'll walk you through on how to set everything up step by step. To get access to this training, all you need to do is go to www.drlisamthompson.com forward slash best blog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.